Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. Um, I'm on my phone, I don't know why, I just decided to do it. That's how we're doing it. But today, I want to talk about why I make these Oblivion character tutorials. Because if you notice, my name is Pacific the Casual Gamer, and I'm supposed to be about casual gaming, and these tutorials are all like super meta, not necessarily in-depth, I kind of wish I did in-depth, but just kind of like meta type things, which isn't a casual gaming type of thing. And the, the reason why is basically where I live, there's not a lot of gamers to begin with where I live. I mean like the population is like 23,000 or something. And beyond that, I was pretty much the only one I could find in my town that played Oblivion. There were people that played a lot of Call of Duty and people that would like try to learn about Oblivion but they wouldn't actually play it. So I was pretty much the only one. And of course you know my sister because we both live in the same house. And we actually played on this TV right there. I suck at filming by the way. This TV. So you know I was literally sitting in front of this TV playing Oblivion nonstop and at another place. You know, playing Oblivion nonstop. So, like, I make these tutorials because I actually find, like, the people find me and create this community around the tutorials. That's basically the simple TLDR version of it. But it's more than that. You know, I like, I like sharing games. If you guys don't know, I started my channel on the concept of sharing game games. You know, I did, I did the Let's Plays, and even though the Let's Plays are genuinely just Let's Plays, I still did it to share you know, my thoughts on the game while I was going through it, you know, because with my friends, I'd be like, hey, check out this new game, and a lot of them would be like, no, 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 I just like Call of Duty. Like, I was the one for the longest time. I didn't buy a lot of games, and I still had the largest game collection because I had more than two games. So my friends, they didn't really play as many games as I did. Now, with Oblivion specifically, I played a lot of it as kind of a younger kid, like 8, 9, 10, and basically... It was, I would play Zelda, and I would play the Halo campaign, and then I would play Oblivion. Oblivion was either my main game, or it was my filler game. It was always at least a filler game. I could play that game for so long, and it was just because of, you know, at the time, it was pretty revolutionary for me. I'd never experienced a game like that before. Not even, like, Diablo. I never played Diablo, or... I mean, I played RuneScape, but... Really, RuneScape to Oblivion just does not compute. So I make these tutorials because I know a lot about the game, and I have no one to share it to, except for, of course, the internet, which is pretty simple. You share it to the internet, and you, the people comment on it. And it's been pretty positively re received. It seems like in the Oblivion character building community, that specific community, there's people. But the people making the videos... Don't know how to make thumbnails. That's one. You know, on YouTube, it's very, 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 very important. The thumbnail, it, it basically goes like this. Your video audio is the most important. Then your thumbnail. Then your video quality. That's pretty much what it is. I mean, take look at podcasts, for example. Some podcasts don't even have a video. They just have the audio. So, you know, people got the video. They got the knowledge. But they just don't have the, the thumbnails. You know, so it's kind of hard to, with the thumbnails and the titles, you know, if I just make a, how to, let's say I make a how to make an archer in Oblivion, right? I've got to be able to make the thumbnail for that instead of just the archer logo. Because if I just show you the archer logo, I'm just going to show you, you know, how to make, I don't know, an archer. But if I piece together a thumbnail, it really tells the story. And I saw, by the way, I'm okay at making thumbnails. I'm not the best, and I'm not, I'm definitely, definitely not the worst. I'm probably better, you could call me better than about 90, I don't know, 99% of people that have uploaded a video ever because I actually use custom thumbnails. But yeah, I really just make the things because um, I like to share about Oblivion. Oblivion is probably my favorite game of all time just because of how much. I don't know how much time I put into it, really. How much time I put into it. It was the last game, also, that I remember messing around with and breaking on accident and not on purpose. I played it so much that I actually, like, you know, stuff would glitch out, the doors would break, the game would break, characters would fly, and I just played it so much that I experienced those glitches. 
that was the last game that really did that. Even Skyrim, man. I played a lot of Skyrim, but not as much as Oblivion. Not, not even as many playthroughs as Oblivion. I would make character after character after character after character on Oblivion. Which is why I know all the stuff I know is because I would make character after character after character after character. I mean, some stuff, some of the magic stuff, like um, mysticism for the longest time, I didn't even use mysticism and I knew what it did. Like, that's how much I played Oblivion. So I just, I love sharing my thoughts on the characters. I like, you know, people asking me questions after. Like, I just had a question like, should, how do you make a pure mage? And I explained that making a pure mage is a really bad idea because of the way Oblivion handles magic. It's such, like Oblivion, with mods, they could make magic amazing. And I, I need to start modding Oblivion. I, I, I think that would be really cool because Oblivion with mods, oh, could you imagine a beautiful magic system in that game? God, so much. But, yeah, I just, TLDR, I make the videos to share my thoughts. And, of course, it helps me out with the YouTube channel. Of course it helps me grow. It helps me do my YouTube thing. But, you know what? It's 50-50. It helps me with the YouTube channel. And I get to share my thoughts. So, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos from me. I don't know if do you guys like the stand-up format, because I could do the stand-up, or I could do the filming in my room. But I'm Sid the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.